This example will show layer pinching via the 3D layer configurator dialog in Fayflow 7. We start with a simple one layer model and first of all increase the elevation of a couple of nodes on slice 1 from 0 meters to 10 meters. This could be something like a waste truck dump. It's a very simplified example to show the principles. I turn on the clipping to see what is going on inside the model, turn off the selection of the nodes, and then open the 3D layer configuration dialog. I switch the bottom of the model, slice 2 to fixed, and top to fixed so that they cannot be changed, and I add one additional slice at elevation 0, which is the bottom of the waste truck dump. This will also be set to fixed, and this will do actually the pinching as now both slice 1 and 2 are at 0 outside the waste truck dump. Then I can add a number of slices for the waste truck dump just to get better vertical resolution. And the same for the rest of the model. I add 9 slices each. And after clicking OK, Fayflow detects the slice intersections and asks how to repair them, which is pinching. Now a new mesh is generated for the areas where the pinching occurs and we can see the result in the 3D view. We have a layered system within the waste rock dump and within the main model and at the edges the pinching is represented by tetrahedral elements connecting to the layers with pyramid elements. In the slice view, we see that the top layers, the ones that are within the waste truck dump, have a very small extent. They only exist in this zone, while the layers further down have the full original extent of the model. With this procedure, it is very, very easy to set up layer pinching and layers that do not extend over the whole model domain.